here we have gala uh 0 0.0572546 that is the price of gala right now uh i have to be very honest you know i do not like the look of this daily time frame i definitely don't like the look of it uh we have daily rsi is now below the 50 line uh, that is not that is not good at all uh, let me show you the last time let me show you what, what was happening the last time daily rsi was below the 50 and you know we will talk about the macd as well so the last time daily rsi dipped below the 50 was right here uh price wise we ended up with a 27 percent drop that was between january 24 and february 6. all right and then we come right here as well july 2023 until right here i'm gonna go away right here july 23 until october 2023 daily rsi goes below the 50 line we ended up with a 51 percent drop and then we also have right here trying to show you a couple of things and then we also have right here this is april 23 until right here until july uh, june 23 we ended up with basically a 60 percent drop and then now i'm not going too far i'm just gonna do one more and then we have one more right here but of course we can yeah, we can keep this going, you know, all the way back to, you know, until the data doesn't allow, doesn't allow us to. And then we have right here, this was from, um, and what, what time was, when was this? This was from February 23, last year, basically, until March 23. Uh, we ended up with a 35% a drop. So you can clearly see. That every time, you know, daily RSI goes below the 50 line, you know, we tend to experience a big drop. You know, every time daily RSI goes below the 50 line, yeah, you're looking at a 20 plus. You're looking at a 20 plus percent drop. Like I'm talking about in the higher 20s. So here we had a 50, here we had almost a 60. And here we had a, a 35. So I'm not predicting that Gala is going to have, you know, the same drop. That's not what I'm predicting because I'm not here to make that type of prediction. But I'm just showing you that the last time, you know, daily RSI was below the 50 line, we ended up with a massive drop. So here we are, you know, once again, uh, daily RSI has dropped, you know, below the 50 line. So the question is, like, is this the beginning of a much bigger drop? That is the question right now. Well, let me talk about that. If the daily RSI is below the 50 line, I'm going to say that is a major concern in the short term. Uh, that is not going to help. That's not going to help us in any fashion. Uh, but what I'm watching right now is, you know, five cents. I'm watching 0 0.05039454. That's what I'm watching right now. This previous resistance that acted as a support the last time we had a big pullback from, you know, 87 all the way down, you know, to 50. That's the support that I'm going to be watching right now. A bearish outlook is we take out the support if we lose the support yeah we're dropping all the way down to around 36 all right so we're coming back in the three cents range uh, let me look to the left to see if we have any more yeah i mean listen there's a lot of support right here you know in the 40s so i'm looking at 44 so let me not try to you know be ahead of myself uh, around 43 44 i'm basically i'm talking about four cents guys 
I'm just reading the first, you know, the first three digits. So of course I'm I'm excluding the zero. So 43, 44 uh, will be our first potential support if we lose 50. And after that, you're basically looking at 36, and that would not be pretty. So we just looked at the data. You know, the last time daily RSI was below the 50 line. We ended up with a 20 plus, you know, higher 20s percent drop. So the first target is giving you a 23% drop. And the second target is giving you a 33% drop from the coin price. Now, if we look at the overall drop, you know, here you're looking at a 57% price decrease. If you were to ask me, you know, if Gala is going to drop 57% from its highs, I wouldn't, I wouldn't argue, you know, I wouldn't argue not because I don't like Gala. I mean, this is one of my biggest position. You know, it just simply is a, you know, it's a possibility. Uh, this is the cryptocurrency market. And if you, you know, if you look at the entire bull market, uh, the all coin market is not, it's not, a, you know, it's not strange to, you know, moves like this, volatility like this. All right, this is very familiar for a lot of these old coins. If you look at the last bull market multiple times, you know, 20, 40, 30, 60, you know, one time we had a 70, 80% drop during a bull market. During a bull market. But I'm not predicting this. I'm just trying to put things into perspectives. So in the short term, you know, you keep your eyes on 50, uh, 50. You keep your eyes on this first target. Uh, personally, I don't think we make it all the way back to, you know, 36, 37. Uh, I think the worst case scenario is a 43 gala. All right. So four cents, basically. I think that's the worst case scenario. Now, if I go down to the lower time. Yeah, I, I, def I don't like the four hour. Uh, I don't like the daily. And I can go over these and explain why I don't like them. But I am going to be repeating myself. Average side below the 50 line, that is not good. Blue line below the green line, that is terrible. All right, consistent lower highs and lower lows. That is not a bullish market. MACD below the zero line, that is not a bullish market. All right, so there is nothing to, you know, not that there is nothing, there is little to like about the lower time setup of Matt, uh, of, you know, Gala. Uh, but when you zoom out, you know, you, you're dealing with a complete different animal. Now, you know, we are about to retest the 50 daily moving average. So maybe that is where we bottom. Maybe we bottom right here. So if you were to ask me, yeah, below 60, I think you want to be a buyer. If we go lower, you want to be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, if you look at the drop, you know, so far, you go from the top all the way down to where we are, you know, Gala is down 34%. So you're not a buyer after a 30% drop in a bull market. I don't know what to tell you. All right. I absolutely don't know what to tell you. But I don't want Gala to take out these lows right here. Because if we take out these lows, that's a clear downtrend. And I don't think we want to see a clear downtrend on the one uh, on the daily time. This is not a downtrend right here, guys. What you have is just a normal pullback. Because remember, there is a difference between price pulling back and, you know, a structure of a market. All right? There is a big difference between a structure and, you know, a normal pullback. A structure is what determines the direction of the market. A pullback doesn't determine anything. It's just a pullback. All right, all right, all right. So that is Gala right there. Uh, I wanted to also briefly talk about ICP. Uh, ICP has been very resilient. And I'm going to show you why I think ICP. I'm going to show you why I think ICP has been very resilient. And why what's, what's actually happening right now is you know, something that's extremely bullish. So you know, if you look at the performance of ICP, you know, at least recently, we had this big move right here. Well, actually, before we talk about recent, uh, if you look at the performance of ICP since December of 23, we have basically 
have been you know consolidating in this range right here and this is a very bullish structure right here guys all right so every time we got to 16 17 dollars you know people took profits every time we came back into the low 10 dollar range you know that was a great place to to go long so finally recently and we actually spent some time you know looking at icp trying to break above this res uh, res resistance so finally recently icp breaks above you know the 17 dollar resistance and you know if you know i was predicting a 20 dollar icp a 38 37 dollar icp and much much higher targets so we ended up not hitting 23 as i predicted uh, we ended up stopping around 20 21 dollars and then we had a pullback this is normal in the market sometimes you know you have something like this where a market trades sideways for a very long period of time and then you finally get a breakout and you know you get a pullback to retest the breakout so previous resistance now becomes your support and then you know you finally take off so that's what's, what's going on with ICP right now. And I think, all right, what, what we see right here is a market that's, you know, very bullish. And the only reason we are consolidating is because, you know, the weakness of the entire cryptocurrency market, I think there's, there's a lot of weight on, you know, ICP. You know the market is trying to drug icp with the rest of the market but icp is you know trying to stay bullish it is very resilient uh i mean the strength is unbelievable so what i think is going on is icp doesn't want to drop back into this range again because if we come back right here i mean you basically we basically back to zero like we're basically back into all right now we're gonna start over again so what icp i think is doing right now is regardless of the weakness in this market i am going to maintain this support right here and once this is all over i'm going to blast into the 30 dollar range i think that's exactly what's going on right now 